Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's been four months since I planted dozens of Nepenthe seeds and I'd like to show you how they've been doing and what they look like today. First, a quick recap on what we did. Back in March, I purchased four Nepenthe seed pods from two new hybrids using Song of Melancholy as the female parent and a Truncata spectabilis and Vicii Brabigiae as the two pollen donors. Jeremiah Harris made these crosses up in Colorado. I sowed the seeds on some milled, long-fibered sphagnum moss and kept them in these to-go containers under bright light. After one month, it was clear that a couple of Vicii Brabigiae seeds were starting to sprout, and a few more from the Truncata spectabilis batch had also germinated. I was feeling good at this point, having never done this before, and my hopes were high that more seeds would continue to sprout. I hadn't noticed any signs of algae, mold, or fungus, but decided to add some springtails to the pots to get ahead of any future breakouts. These tiny insects play a big role as part of the cleanup crew in any bioactive setup, since their diet consists primarily of mold and fungus. I've been growing this colony for a few years now in this small takeout container. At the two-month check-in, several more seeds had germinated, and the second set of leaves already had super tiny pitchers on them. Fast forward to today, four months since sowing, and I'm thrilled with how many baby plants we have. Germination from both hybrids has been very high, and you can already start to notice slight differences in some of the seedlings. It's way too early at this point to try to make any predictions about any specific individual. Complex hybrids tend to express a lot more variation among their progeny, but I can't wait to see how they progress. As they grow in more, I'll start cracking the lids open a little at a time to acclimate them down from their 100% humidity environment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for updates.